uh, the work is connected to that project, so it continues a narrative that I started about seven years ago. And as new pieces are created, the story develops and uh, new mysteries are introduced. Uh, so because the Havana Biennale uh, this year is shifting its curatorial focus to focus um, primarily on community-based work and work that is not in gallery spaces or museum spaces, is pu are, are, uh, in public spaces, um, I have created a series of posters that advertise my fictional neighborhood as a tourist destination. And uh, so I'm kind of using this opportunity to start to kind of interrogate and question how it is that we actually present ourselves um, as a tourist destination and what kind of impact that has on individuals within the community and how the community is seen um, uh, and imaged by these kinds of uh, projects. Uh, it also gives me kind of an interesting opportunity to kind of invade the streets of Havana where the posters will be um, on display and kind of speak directly to the uh, populace. Mm -hmm. Because it often uh, with exhibitions like these, um, there's kind of a, a, a disparity between the museum-going population and the man on the street who doesn't necessarily always feel um, a part of such large events. So I hope to kind of play around with that idea as well with the work. Um, Arts and Sports and the Ministry for agreeing to uh, fund a trip for these students which they're about to go on. We, we try to take students out of the island as much as possible so they can see art. And it's this visibility indeed, not only people being able to see our work, but our artists and our public being able to see other work, that is incredibly important. And so I also look forward to Carifesta. Um, uh, I think, you know, it's, it's a tough thing to do, to kind of work through uh, the art community in Barbados. We each have different goals, different needs. Not everybody heads towards every market. Um, different markets suit different artists. And I think it's kind of really important to kind of start to figure out how to strategize assistance across the board in different directions to help each artist kind of forge the direction that they wish to forge. Not everybody will wish or desire to head towards biennials. But I, again, thank you very much uh, for assisting me in achieving this goal, which I hope in the future will lead to only more opportunities. This use the project relates to issues of race and gender and nationality. And just a small section that I could give you is one of the tests that will be done during the apartheid era to define your race will be to stick a pencil in your hair. And if the pencil stays, then you're black. And if it drops out, then you have more white or Asian in there. <laughs> 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 So that's one of the things they do. It's a performance. <laughs> it's a performance where mm -hmm. you sh you're dressing things about the hair, hair extension. She st sits on a pavement with her collaborator mm -hmm. and they put extensions in each other's hair. They put on makeup, they go into the streets, and then they take this train back to Cape Town, which is, I think, has less. Um, what should I say, exclusive areas than Johannesburg lives. So where they're doing this business, we're sticking the pencils in their hair and holding up um, charts of color, like charts from Harris Paints, to see which matches your skin color and that type of thing, and recording it, which actually did happen. This is all happening there. That's what they're going to do. It's called Rights of Passage. Okay, Allah, come out. Rights of Admission. Rights of Admission, yes. Well, only recently, the, the very good show showing of Barbadian artists and entrepreneurs in Carnival in Trinidad. Uh, I think that Barbadians are, are moving out and they are seizing opportunity. Um, we've had a significant amount of artists involved in terms of the music agenda uh, in North America and in South America. And that is beginning to pay dividends in terms of the inflows of foreign exchange 
I hope we don't only see inflows of foreign exchange through the building of buildings and uh, and so on, but we can reap significant dividends through the work of our artists as they move across the globe. And our role in government is to support them as we are supporting these two artists here. I can say to you as well, um, one of the things that I believe will give Barbados a tremendous uh, feel it in terms of what we are doing to propel the growth of the cultural industries and to support our artists would be the fact that Barbados will be hosting the Carifta, um, sorry, Carifesta, not Carifta, Carifesta in 2017. And a committee has already been established and work has already started in terms of the planning that has to go into such a, a mammoth task. It's a huge venture. We want to mobilize the entire Barbados in this regard. And I say no because we should not wait uh, until the end of 2015 to start thinking as a country about how we can contribute both uh, singly and collectively to Carifesta, which will be hosted in Barbados. And we'll be hearing more of this but we are working very closely with the CARICOM Secretariat. Uh, a committee has been deployed within the ministry. And this really is meant to be, is going to be a national effort. So I want all of the cultural practitioners, artists, entrepreneurs, everybody, to be aware that Barbados will be um, Carifesta land in 2000. And 17. Of course, other things that happened in 2017 as well, but certainly um, Carifesta um, will be what we are going to be focusing on over the next two years in terms of a major happening in 2017.